It's the first time she's shown her legs since the royal wedding. Royal fans have expressed worry for Meghan Markle's health after she was pictured in a short dress with her slender legs on show. This is the first time that the newlywed has shown off her legs since getting married to Prince Harry. The 37-year-old attended the hit musical Hamilton with her husband and wore a gorgeous black tuxedo-style dress. Fans took to Twitter to share their concern for the Duchess of Sussex, with one person saying, how does Meghan Markle walk, much less in pumps, with those L-I-I-T-T-T-L-L-L-E-E-E-E legs? The woman is unreal. Listen, I love me some Meghan Markle. But has anyone seen the TMZ photo of her and Prince Harry at Hamilton? Her legs look scarily thin. I'd imagine her father in his chit chat doesn't help the stress, another fan tweeted, commenting on how much Meghan's father has been in the news. Meghan Markle has some strange-looking legs, another fan tweeted. A Meghan Markle has lost so much weight, echoed a third. Another said, I've a sneaking suspicion Meghan's expecting, I thought the outfit last night was designed to draw attention to her legs, and away from her chest and tummy, which I thought looked a little fuller than normal, and of course the all-black outfit sharp pregnant sight police which we hope is true. However some fans thought she looked great, with one saying, Megan gave body and legs in that dress today. She looked hot. Another commented on how both Harry and Meghan look lovely, saying, HRH Duke and Duchess of Sussex looking very sharp indeed and all for a good cause. It has recently been revealed that Meghan has to get her wardrobe altered to make sure that there are no malfunctions while she is out on royal duties. Tiny weights are reportedly sewn into her tops and dresses to make sure that the wind won't blow them open and embarrass the queen. This is protocol for all royal family members, not just Meghan. Speculations are high that Meghan Markle is pregnant. Ever since the royal wedding took place in May, tabloids have been announcing that the Duchess of Sussex is set to welcome a baby. Yet another report has claimed that the former Suits actress is pregnant with a royal baby and that she has a high-risk pregnancy. If the recent New Idea report is to be believed, the Kensington Palace is buzzing with the news that the Duchess is pregnant months after Kate Middleton welcomed her third child, Prince Louis. The publication alleges that the 37-year-old is pregnant and she has cleared her diary to ensure she rests as much as possible. The publication maintains that although this is a great news for the royals and royal fans, Markle's pregnancy has affected the Invitus Games and the royal calendar of the couple. Prince Harry's upcoming Invitus Games are now scrambling to reorganize the event as they expect Meghan's planned appearance and tour of Australia will be cancelled in a matter of weeks, the outlet writes. According to the news portal, the Duke of Sussex might not attend the event on all days as he intends to spend more time with his wife since her pregnancy is described as a high-risk one. A source has been quoted saying, the palace is talking in riddles without stating the obvious. But Meghan will pull out of the games and, more importantly, her first royal tour to Australia and New Zealand once they make the official announcement when she is given a three-month all-clear. Kensington Palace is being very protective of Meghan. She was expected to play a big role to support the event, as it's her first as Harry's wife. But now everything's changed and no one's been given an official reason although they're all guessing correctly that a baby announcement isn't far off, the insider explained. Britain's Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, visit the Nelson Mandela Centenary Exhibition at South Bank Centre's Queen Elizabeth Hall in London, Britain. July 17, 2018. Reuters, however, the Kensington Palace has not confirmed the news. Former England football captain David Beckham poses as he arrives for the Amphers 24th Cinema Against AIDS Gala on May 25, 2017, at the Hotel du Capitaine Rock in Captain Tibes, France. Alberto Pizzoli slash AF slash Getty Images. It was recently announced that David Beckham has been roped in as the ambassador for the Games. Daily Mail reports that the renowned sportsmen, Harry and Meghan will be joined by Danish royals, Princess Mary and her husband Prince Frederick. 
It is also to be noted that none of her recent outings, including her Hamilton attendance, hinted any signs of pregnancy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new home has two very important rooms that the royal couple allegedly plan on occupying as soon as possible. Radar Online has reported that the couple is continuing to renovate a new home gifted to them by Queen Elizabeth named Adelaide Cottage and are decorating two rooms for use as nurseries as some of their first to be completed. Sources close to the couple are allegedly buzzing that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are already expecting, according to Radar. Harry and Meghan both feel Adelaide Cottage is the perfect place for them to raise a family together, a source close to the couple noted to Radar. But given that they're rushing to make room for a baby, palace insiders are whispering that they could be expecting already, alleges Radar. The couple noted during their official engagement interview that they were planning to have a family as soon as possible. Prince Harry confirmed that he would love to be a dad, and Markle concurred, stating it's her dream to start a family. Adelaide Cottage is located in Windsor, where the couple famously married on May 19, 2018. Windsor is where they got married, the insider remarked to Radar. The couple's new home is just a short drive from St. George's Chapel, where the two tied the knot in a grand ceremony and faded by the town's residents, who lined the streets to laud the newlyweds after their touching ceremony. Meghan fell in love with the area in the run-up to the wedding and found it charming. And while they'll still be close to Prince William and Kate Middleton, their current neighbors at Kensington Palace, Harry, and Meghan both like that they'll also have some space to themselves, alleges the royal source to the site. Three months after exchanging vows in the globally watch wedding of the century, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are starting the next big chapter in their lives starting a family. Palace insiders have confirmed recent reports that the newlyweds are expecting twins, life and style reports. Adding to the excitement, friends close to the couple are buzzing that the Duchess is pregnant with two girls. They have been busy drawing up a list of baby names, only for girls, a source tells the U.S. publication. Harry is over the moon. He'll let it slip to pals that double trouble lies ahead, the insider dished. Calling the twins miracle babies, Harry has never been happier. Meghan is thrilled to be pregnant, adds the source, noting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been visiting a fertility doctor. The pregnancy is in its early stages, but Meghan, 37, and Harry, 33, are already thinking ahead and narrowing down a list of names, life and style claims. Although the decision isn't final, Harry and Meghan have agreed for now that Diana and Elizabeth should be their baby's names, a source reveals. Kate Middleton and Prince William were among the first to learn of the pregnancy. As a mum of three, Kate is full of words of wisdom about what motherhood entails, says the source. She has been giving Meghan tips on what to eat and how to conceal her small bump. The source adds that Meghan is nervous about starting a family, while Harry is more worried about what happens when the girls grow up. Harry will be a protective father, says the source. Meanwhile, insiders also confirm the exciting news to the National Enquirer. It's amazing. Just incredible, a friend gushed to the Enquirer. But they won't announce for some time, or until the end of the first trimester, as is the American custom. Another insider reportedly told the U.S. publication, all the signs have been there for months now. It's wonderful news to be sure but it shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. The Enquirer's shocking report claims 36-year-old Meghan secretly visited fertility doctors before her May 19 wedding to Prince Harry, who was sixth in line to the British throne. Harry and Meghan wanted to get pregnant as quickly as possible after their wedding, a friend tells. They both know that as Meghan gets older, it can get increasingly harder to conceive and they are both keenly aware of her vulnerability to health complications and the chance of miscarriage the older she gets. Along with fertility checkups, 
Meghan also visited London-based nutritionist Melanie Brown at Kensington Palace, insiders told the Inquirer. Brown, a specialist in fertility, IF, and pregnancy, who works out of Duke Street, gave Meghan pointers on preconceptual and pregnancy nutrition, including weight loss and gain, and immune issues. Harry, 33, also reportedly stepped up, meeting with nutritionist Gabriella Peacock on how we can drop weight and boost fertility. Meghan and Harry's exciting baby news will mark the first time the monarchy has welcomed twins in almost 600 years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's twin joy may have been the help of his genetics. Harry's uncle, his mother Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, has identical twin daughters. The royal's great-grandfather, Edmund Murray's Burke Roach, the fourth Baron Vermoy, was also an identical twin. One insider told the Inquirer, We all know where the genes for twins comes from and it wasn't the house of Windsor on Harry's side. You might romantically say this is Diana's last gift to her youngest son.